Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I just want to walk you through how to combine and subtract and then subtract shapes using Photoshop. So you can combine several shapes to form another shape. So let's start and do that. So I'm just going to delete these shapes and then let's say you want to join two cycles together. You can use the ellipse tool and let's say I draw my first shape. You can hold the shape together, perfect shape and then I can just give this any color of my choice. So basically I'm just going to give a pink color. I'm going to give a color and then just duplicate this shape. So when I duplicate this shape, these are not two different shapes, but I can combine or subtract one from the other. So all I have to do is to drag and select these two shapes, then go to layer. So from here, just move ahead and click on combine shapes. We have se several options. We have unite shapes, subtract from shape. Then we have unite shapes as overlap and then subtract shapes. So if I click over here, you can see what is going to happen. It's actually going to subtract the overlap from the two shapes so it's going to create another shape for me let me just undo this and then let's go through the entire process again when i go back and then we have another option that says unite shapes at overlap so when i click this it's going to select something from this particular one so if you want to create a leaf you can easily use this method to do that let's undo this and then select this again if you go back here you also have combine shape then we have subtract from shape so when you do this it's actually going to subtract the top one from the down one so you can use this to create a moon if you want to create a moon shape and you're not getting it you can basically go ahead and then do that and then the first option over there is actually a very simple one to unite shapes so when i do this it's going to unite the two shapes over here now this is a shape that we drew on our own what about if you want to use some of the photoshop custom shapes so if you go to the shapes option you can go to custom shapes so there are shapes already that comes alongside with photoshop so you can combine those shapes to create additional shape so let's say i want something like this let's say i drew this shape i picked the shape from the custom shapes and i want to subtract a circle from this so before that let me actually change the color of this so i can give this a different color okay so i want to subtract a circle out of this so i can just go back to my shape and then pick the ellipse tool then all I have to do is to make sure I draw. So let me collapse my distance so that I can have enough working space to work with. So let's go back again. We'll pick the ellipse tool and then I'll just go ahead and then draw a shape. So when I have my shape, all I have to do is to reposition this here. Or you can just select the two together and then you can use the other options at the top to basically align this. So once this is set, all I can do is to go ahead and go to my layer. And then I can go to combine shapes and before that let me use a different color so that this makes sense okay so I'll use a different color for this so that this makes sense so I'm just really going to hide and then change the color from for this to a different color so that you can understand what I'm doing the white make it look very simple so I'll select this now I want to subtract that so I'll go back to my shape go to combine shape and I'll go to a subtract from shape so you can see now it's going to give me combine the shape and then subtract the ellipse or the circle from that so this is basically a very simple way to create just any shape combining any shape or subtract any shape using photoshop like subscribe for more video tutorials more it tips like this so i'm going to try the last one we'll go back and pick custom shapes go to our custom shapes again and then we're going to pick we're going to pick this so this is basically going to be an arrow showing a direction so when you draw this let's give this a color and we have a cycle or draw a cycle right here so before that i'll draw a circle down here so i'm going to use the ellipse tool and then just draw the hold and shift in order to get a perfect shape i'm going to give this a color now this is what is going to happen one combine these two shapes together or we just want to subtract this from this so i'm going to send this to the top just drag and move it to the top and then i just want to position this somewhere here i just want to position this something like this and then i just want to subtract this from that or probably let's do something like this let's just do something like this and then i'll combine the two i'll just combine the two and then subtract the arrow from that so go back to our shapes and go to combine shapes and then we have the option to subtract from front and then once you do this you can see this is actually going to create a different shape for us like subscribe for more tips and tricks like this on my youtube channel bye bye